Hey, hey, math people. So in a typical high school advanced algebra class, you were probably expected to memorize this. So what's up with that strange arrangement of A, B, and C, and D there? Why is it the way it is? Well, let's talk about that in this video. Uh, consider taking the product of a matrix A, we're gonna call it a two by two, uh, with its inverse, A inverse. Uh, what we should get when we multiply those two is the identity. So like, let's just say I had number five, okay? And I'm multiplying by um, its reciprocal, one over five. Here in this case, we get one. That's the identity. That's the same idea, but with matrices. So what is the version of one in terms of a matrix and specifically a two by two? Uh, one is very specifically one, zero, zero, one. This is the identity matrix of a two by two. This is gonna help us pinpoint what a uh, inverse really truly is. Uh, so let's just say I have this matrix A, and generally speaking, its elements are, we'll call A, B, C, and D. So we better know what A inverse is in regards to those letters, A, B, C, and D. For now, we don't know what it is, so we'll just call it W, X, Y, and Z, and we'll solve for these things. How do we do that? Well, we can matrix multiply. We know what this product should come out to. It should come out to the identity matrix for a two by two. Let's do that. Uh, we can matrix multiply here. Uh, here we can take that top row, multiply it by the leftmost column. So AB times that WY. Uh, so we should get AW plus BY. And that should equal top left, which is one. And we can do this for the other three um, three entries of this uh, matrix here. So we can do A, B, now one plus five, now second column, which is X and Z. So we're going to get A, X plus B, Z, B, Z. And actually, we'll top right, which is zero. Okay, uh, now we can go to the second row and the first column. So we get CW plus DY. And actually, we'll top, or sorry, by left, so it'll be zero. Very lastly, we have the bottom row down the right, most row in the blue matrix here. So we're going to have C times X plus B times Z. Uh, this is going to be the bottom right, one. So I'm going to erase some of the clutter here. I'm just going to keep the system. I no longer need this. Ultimately, what I'm doing here is I'm solving for all my blue variables. I'm solving for W, X, Y, and Z in terms of A, B, C, and D. So we got eight variables in a four equation system. Uh, you're not going to get numbers here, people. You're going to get letters, variables. So let's do this. I'm going to erase all this. And uh, let's isolate to uh, specific blues, yeah? Let's isolate. How about we look for, I notice in uh, the second and fourth equation, I notice that you have an X and a Z in both of those. How about we isolate these two? So for now, I'm gonna pretend that these are here. Okay, so I just scooted them to the top left real fast. Uh, I think substitution is gonna be best here. Uh, elimination looks gross. So let's do this. How about we isolate this X in the top equation, plug it into the X in the bottom one. Uh, so we're going to have AX plus B Z is equal to zero. Let's solve for this X. Uh, subtract the BZ from both sides. We get AX is equal to negative BZ. And then lastly, divide A out on both sides. So you're going to get X is equal to negative, huh, weird, negative BZ over A. Let's take this expression and plug it into X here. We're going to get C times negative B Z over A plus D Z is equal to one. Uh, so this is kind of good news. It's hard to tell. Maybe I'll make it a little bit more color Cody. Uh, the only variable left in this equation that is from the inverse is Z in blue. So let's solve for Z. I'm going to first start by factoring it out. So I'm going to get Z times uh, we'll say negative BC over A plus D. That is equal to one. Next, we're actually pretty much done. We're one step away. We just have to divide out that nasty expression. So divide negative BC over A plus D from both sides of our equation. We end up getting Z is equal to one over, we'll do D minus BC over A. So gross, that's weird. Uh, that doesn't help me at all, but it kind of does. Because if we, if we do this thing, if we multiply it by A over A, this is actually A over, distribute, distribute, uh, A, D, minus, cancel, B, C. Okay, 
that's gonna help us. That is, we like that. That's what we like. Okay, so uh, I have to pee, so all of a sudden this is a real minute math video. Uh, I know that Z is equal to A over AD minus BC. Hey, let's plug this thing into uh, this Z right here, top equation. I like zeros more than ones. Uh, so we have A, X uh, plus uh, this whole thing. So we'll just do, uh, we'll do A, B over a, B minus B, C, and this is equal to zero. Almost there, it's actually a two-step equation. Subtract this from both sides uh, from our equation. Do. We're gonna get A, X is equal to negative A, B over A, D minus B, C. Finally, divide out that A. Uh, we'll just multiply by the reciprocal, uh, 1 over A, that's going to be a little bit neater here. And actually, very clearly, A's just cancel, we end up getting X is equal to uh, negative B over A, D minus B, C. We like that too, we like these things, they, it looks like they're things that we don't like, but we, we like them. Okay, going back to that four uh, equation system. We used two of the equations, now let's look at the other two. This time it has W and Y. We have X and Z, let's solve for W and Y, and then we're actually kind of uh, done at that point. Uh, this looks to me like the same exact story. Uh, let's literally do the same thing. So I'll take one like zero more, and I'm isolate W here. So C, W plus D, Y is equal to zero. Subtract that, D times Y from both sides, you can see W is equal to negative D, Y, and divide out, we're going to get C from both sides. So we're going to get W is equal to negative D and Y over C. This is the same thing as before, people. So we've got eight times. Uh, we're going to spin parentheses, negative D, Y over C. And we're going to add that to B, Y, equal to one. We have only one one variable is not liberated right now. Y. Y. We have only one variable from the inverse matrix, and that's y. Right so let's solve for y seems to be uh, factored out first. So we have y on the outside. Y times negative a d over c plus b. That is equal to one. Divide out the next expression from both sides. Divide negative a d over c plus b. Divide negative a d over c plus b. You guys, y is equal to uh, y over b minus a d over c. So try to go multiply by uh, both the numerator here. Then we also have c plus b. Multiply by c over c. Yeah, okay, c over. Uh, b c minus a d. Uh, we actually kind of don't like this. This denominator isn't the same denominator we've been getting in the last two. Uh, so actually, what we're going to do is we're going to Let's divide out a negative. That way these will flip, right? This will turn negative, this will turn positive. We're multiplying by negative one over negative one. So this is actually gonna turn into negative C over, well now it's gonna be a negative BC and it's gonna be a positive AD. So it'll be AD minus BC. There it is, that's the thing we like again, uh, that determinant down in the bottom. Uh, so now we have Y, all that's left is W. Home stretch here. Uh, we have a y is equal to negative c over uh, the determinant ad minus bc. Let's plug this in to this point. Okay, uh, so I like zero right at the bottom. 1.2. So we're gonna have cw plus d times negative c over ad minus bc, and that's equal to zero. Uh, this is pretty negative. I'm gonna do this. Right, and actually, this makes it look better. I'm gonna make this dc right here. I'm gonna add that to both sides of the equation. I'm gonna add dc uh, over ad minus bc to both sides of my equation. So what do I get? I get cw is equal to dc over ad minus bc. Last step, divide out that c, and we're pretty much done here. Divide c, and multiply by one over c, same story. Here it is, cancel. I'm gonna get w is equal to d over a d minus b c. Last year itself. So we're back to the blue inverse matrix. I know what all four variables are in regards to a, b, c, and d, and it's this mess. So uh, we're, we're pretty much there. What's in common with all four of these terms here, all four of these elements? Uh, I actually see that we're dividing them all by the determinant of a two by two. It's this a, d minus b, c value. So I'm gonna actually just factor it out and pluck it out from each uh, element and we're actually done. Here it is, this is actually a inverse. So why was it that messy, gross thing? Well, that, that's, that's why actually. Uh, and there's kind of a reason why I guess math teachers don't show you that because that was super tedious, but now you know. Uh, that is all I have for you for this installment of Minute Math. Uh, I'm gonna ask you to continue to math on and I will do the same. I'll see you in the next video.